Hey guys, in an app in this video, I'll be showing you how you can store data in Swift using user defaults. Now, this video will be covering saving data, deleting data, and showing that data. And the setup I have here is this. We have a text field where we can save a set of data, we can delete set data, or we can show set data. So let's get into it. Now, user defaults is by far one of the easiest ways to save and store data in Swift. So I have three functions here which match three of the functions in the app. We have a save, delete, and show function. And I've also connected my text field and label. Now on the save button, if we want to save the data from the text field, all we have to do is call user defaults dot standard dot set value. And this is the value we're going to set. We're going to come right back to this. And this for key is what's the important part. This is the key that we'll be using to store and retrieve said data. So this can be any sort of string. I'm just going to call this data. And the value is going to be our text field dot text. And just to confirm that the data has been saved, I'm going to set the label dot text equal to data saved, just so the user knows that data has been saved. Now deleting stuff from user defaults is just as easy. We simply call user defaults again dot standard, and then we want to call remove object. And this is where we put our key that we used earlier. So in this case, our key is data. So I'm going to put that here. Showing data is just as easy. Now we have to define our user default data, so we're going to say let data to show equal user defaults dot standard. In this case, it's a string, so this key, and this is the key that we'll put here again, so this key is data. And now just to avoid any crashing in case the user has deleted the button, I'm going to say if data to show is equal equal to nil, then we can do something else, and then else we can set the label.txt to our value that is in the data. And right here, if, we, if it's nil, we just want to say that there is no value. So we're going to go ahead and change the label.txt to say no data. If we go ahead and run this, you can see we have our three functions here. So I'm going to go ahead and save some sort of data here. In this case, I'm just saving my YouTube channel name. So when I hit save, we can see that data has been saved. And if I restart the app, and hit show data, we can see that our data is stored even after the app is restarted. When it comes to deleting data, if we go ahead and launch this again, press on delete, now that our data has been deleted, if we launch this app again, just to show that it's coming back from the background, this is a total relaunch, and if we hit show, it should say no data. Thanks guys, that was just one of the easiest ways to store data in Swift. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching, do subscribe, Check out my new app, three things, links are in the description below. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, do subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.